Okay, so when I was driving to work about two days ago, I was thinking to myself about procrastination and like, like what motivates me and stuff like that. What motivates me more, success and the reward or the fear of failure and the consequence that comes with it? So as in, what motivates you to get an assignment done? The fact that you get 100 and you get pass, or the fact that you may fail and get left back? And I think what motivates me more is the consequence of failing. Yeah, I'm about to say that too. Because procrastin the thing that gets you out of procrastination is like, ah oh, shit, that deadline. Ah oh, shit, I may fail. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a hundred and everyone's gonna be proud of me and happy and I'm gonna get this medal and this ring. It's more of the the failure and the consequence of failing. Cause that's what a lot of people fear. They fear, you know what I'm saying, failure. So that was one thing that like, you know, came upon my mind that was that was kinda interesting. You know what I'm saying? And I wonder, I wonder why, why we're like that. Like maybe it could be because we went through school, and at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if you did a 70 or 100, we're all gonna get the same degree. You know what I'm saying? The only difference between your 70 and 100 is if someone gets scholarships and stuff like that, or medals and, and all that, or A B honorable. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, it's like if you get a 70 to 100. What makes the difference? So that's why people going procrastinate and. You know what I'm saying? Not really try. So that was one thing that was just that just interests me, and I just want to know, you know, what you think about that. I say, bro, I feel like we know the answer to that. Well, personally, I know why I um that fe I fear failure, and I feel like it's the same thing for you. Mm -hmm. We want to find the things in life, bro. So, real realistically speaking, if you want. Like, if you have big dreams and big goals and shit, failure isn't an option for you. Yeah. Of course, you can make mistakes and f ups and shit like that, but I mean, like, drastic failures that are going to fucking restrain you from getting to where you want to be. So, let's say I want to be a psychiatrist or something. Mm -hmm. Failing in college is not an option if no, I want to no. be a psychiatrist. You know what I'm saying? Definitely. No, I mean, like, let's say I want to finance a car or something and you need good credit. Not building your credit and having shitty credit is not an option for you. Not so no. failure is not an option. Mm. And that's pretty much how I look at it, bro. Like, you just... It's a lot of shit that I want in you life that I just... To get it. Yeah. Definitely. You just... You can't... You can't... You can't fuck up. Like, not, not saying you can't fuck up, but... You can't continuously fuck up. You can't realize, oh, I'm going to fuck up and still let the fuck up happen. You know yeah, what I'm saying? You can't just send it. You gotta... You gotta attack it head on. You gotta fix it. You know what I'm saying? You you can't build a house without no foundation. What's good, y'all? It's your boy V Dump, man. Back guys with another video. Welcome to you this opportunity to come to Jumbo Boy. And also use this opportunity to come the best you you possibly can be. Now, I man, I'm gonna do this real quick. Um, obviously the video is like why are you procrastinating and why are you lazy and some stuff like that. I'm gonna put y'all on some game of some things I do uh to not be lazy, to be more productive. Y'all can finna see I am finna drop like three or four videos today. Uh first thing is I put it in my one video of why you're lazy is that I have something called like a three day quota. One way I was able to stop being lazy and to enforce action, like I said, I, I stopped focusing on the goal of getting subscribers, getting views. I started focusing more on the habits. You can't really control goals happening. You can control the actions that happen towards it or the habits, you know what I'm saying? So one thing that helped me in being more productive is having a three day quota. Basically a three day quota is, let's say you want to lose four pounds in a month, Instead of saying, I want to burn four calories, you make a three-day quarter saying you must burn 1,500 calories in three days. What's good about the three-day quarter is that you're not so focusing on the goals. You're focused on the, on the action and the habits. It's short enough where it kind of puts pressure on you, but long enough where it's like you're not having to go after this every day. Like if you, you can pick up the slack. If you mess up one day, you can pick up the slack the next day because you probably had a goal that for like a month, like let's say uh, for the month you wanted to lose four pounds. It's so long that you you can just put it off to the next day, put it off to the next day, put it off to the next day. It's the same way as the school deadlines. And what we were talking about before about what motivates you more, does the fear of the consequence or the reward and the success. So that's why my quotas is not like a month long. It's too long where you can just put it off to the side, put it off to the side and then do it at the last minute. So even if you do it at the last minute in three days, three days is amazing. Like it's amazing to get things done and try to do it in three days. Another thing is you, you can put like the things you want to get done in front of your face. 
Now, I would say highly, highly, let me see. Let me look at my white book before it's something I don't want to show. Okay, so if you look at my white board, I will say, bro, invest into a white board. If you watch Kaisenat videos, if you watch Agent Zero videos, what's another YouTuber? If you watch those two people YouTubers, you will literally see they have a whiteboard in their background. I don't know if y'all peep that, but I peep it. They have a whiteboard in their background. And both of them have a million subscribers. So they must be doing something right, right? So yeah, but invest into a whiteboard. Put the things that you want to get done in front of your face. Make it where it literally makes you where you have to be accountable. This right here is the focus of the day. It has about five to six things that I have to do for the day. Uh, obviously, I didn't complete all of them, but that's fine. You don't have to complete your three-day quarter at a time. You don't have to complete your focus of the day. You don't have to complete all of them. All it is about is just put it in front of your face. You be like, you know what? I'm going to get that done. That's easy. Another thing to do is to have easy, easy, easy goals, easy, easy things you have you can do. It's the same way of taking a test. When you take a test and your first two questions are easy, or your first two, three questions are easy, and you know the answer, it gives you kind of like a motivation or like a confidence boost to the next questions. Cause like, it's you like, oh, I know that. All right, the next one, ah, I know that. So it, can, it gives you motivation to complete the, the quiz or the test. But when the first ones are mad hard and you spend so much time on it, it kind of already annoys you and you like, man, I don't want to do this, bro. This, shit bugging out this shit is od like what fuck i like doing this you know what i'm saying so that's why on your focus of the day your three-day quarter you put very easy things you can do to start it off in the day it's the same way as momentum momentum is very 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 important uh that's the reason why i'm recording like three four i might record like four or five videos today because i woke up at eight o'clock i got the momentum recorded a video finished that edited recorded video finished that edited recorded video finished that edited it's all about getting that momentum. All you gotta do is get that momentum, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, that's why you get stuck in a rut. You know what I'm saying? You get stuck in bad momentum and then it becomes comfortable. So start developing habits and actions where that positive, good momentum becomes comfortable. And like, you can ask a lot of successful people, when you ask them, how do they feel when they just lay down and do nothing for the day? They feel like bad because it makes it uncomfortable because that's not a part of their routine. So make literally grinding, hustling, getting your bag literally part of your routine. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that's a couple of ways to stop procrastinating and um, stop procrastinating and being lazy and be more productive. Hey man, if you don't know who I am, my name is V Dunk. I got a community called the Jumbo Boys of like-minded men and women that want to progress mentally, physically, spiritually, and financially. If you want to be part of that and network with a bunch of other like-minded people and future millionaires, all you gotta do, the easiest thing to join the Jumbo Boys, subscribe, like, comment. Uh, go in the description down below, go fuck with the Instagram page. Hey, yeah, man, I'm out, you need. And also, apply some of the things I told you, you know what I'm saying? Let me know if, um, it's been a success of applying it to your own life and applying it to yourself. I'm out. Also, let me know in the comments if there's anything you actually disagree with. I said uh, anything that you think is not right, anything that you think uh, is not effective, anything that you think uh, is simply outright stupid. Let me know if you agree or disagree, or let me know if you're going to use this into your life. I'm out. Yes, here.